everyone welcome finally uh, to another video and yeah in this video I will finally show you how to make my horseshoe crab um, I don't have it here actually but I'll just pass some footage old footage that I have for the one that I folded and designed and you can see for yourself so I think it's a cool design a nice curl color change um, I think the part that I especially like are the gills I think that's what uh, uh, sets it apart from the others but yeah a lot of people requested for this tutorial so here we are um, okay so I already have almost the, all of the crease pattern pre-creased here you can find the crease pattern on my Flickr page and on my Instagram I'll leave it I'll leave a link for the Flickr page because that's the one with higher quality uh, it's based on a 20 by 20 grid which I have done here and I've also colored uh, most of the lines um, because these ones are fairly simple I will I have it here the crease pattern on my phone the the ones that I haven't are these parts here which I will do with you because these are the like I guess the harder part of this uh, CP but they are uh, pretty simple as well uh, but yeah uh, so if you want to get started you can just use a paper so I'm using with one with two colors I don't think this is like the best paper to use it because I think it's a bit too thick but I think for uh, demonstration purposes it's fine and yeah uh, these lines here you can just go ahead and pre-crease all of them I will just show you how to pre-crease uh, those little um, shapes that you saw before and we can get started on collapsing so yeah so let me just put it here uh, okay, so I'm just gonna do the one on the left side here and I'm gonna show you how to do that one and then you can do the same thing for the other one. Okay, um, I don't know why I didn't include the grid on this, like the, the grid lines on this crease, crease pattern. I have no idea why it would make it uh, a lot easier. I I've started doing that so maybe now it's better. But yeah, the first thing we, can, we are going to do are these two horizontal lines. And the reason why the grid here would help is because these are not grid lines. So um, these are actually uh, in between the grid lines. So we do need to fold them. So the first one, like this top one, is going, you're just gonna grab this edge and fold it to the, to the uh, one below it. So you're gonna basically make uh, one fortieth and you're gonna fold you can you need you only need to fold like all to do the diagonal uh, like to this uh, diagonal line here okay okay so like this one and then you're going to do the same thing with this one so this one you're just gonna fold up and do the same thing And that's why it's a bit confusing because like these two lines that we just did are actually the same width as a normal uh, uh, grid line is but they are not in grid lines. Okay, and uh, the other thing we're going to do is, so the first one you did, you can see that it continues all the way down. So we're going to do that. Let me just hold the paper like that. And this one, so basically what you do, you just grab this one and fold like that and you can fold all the way okay next uh, we can also see that we have this one right here which is not part of the grid line but it's um, let me just check okay so let me hold it like that so we just did this one right here right this one is a grid line because this one is not and we also need to do this one this is not the grid line and this one is just um, this one the one that I just did plus uh, one grid line so basically you're just going to do this one like so uh, I will later like once I'm done with all of these lines I will show you with the grid line so maybe that will be easier but yeah so far we are like this and I think that's all of it that we need to pre-crease uh, to yeah to at least for starting the pre-crease uh, and I will actually draw first what we need to uh, to pre-crease and then you can uh, and then I will pre-crease it uh, so first off let me just draw that line here the those two horizontal lines so we have mountain here and I'm not using a ruler so 
and then we have this one is the mountain then valley 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 and then this one okay and now and also this one is the valley okay so now we can see that we have let me just zoom in a little bit more we can see that we have a line like connecting these two here right which is a valley and it's just gonna go like that and i'm kind of eyeballing it but yeah and then this one you can see like we have this square here right you can just draw it i'm just gonna draw so first we have um i'm actually yeah i'm actually gonna fold this square here because that would be easier for me to draw after but so just a square right one unit and you should have all the intersection points so Okay, there it is, and now let's see. So this is also a valley here, and then we have a mountain until halfway there, and then this one is also like that, and then we have these two. Okay, and we have a mountain here, and a valley here. Okay. Now we do have uh, like uh, this diamond shape here, which is basically another square except like this part is cut off, but we can make it as a square as well. So here you just make another square, okay? Let me just practice that. Okay, and then we can draw the lines. So we have these two are mountains, like so. And then this one is valley, but it's only halfway. So then we have like this line here, which I'm just gonna draw like that. And then we have this valley, and then we have like this zigzag pattern. And then we have a mountain that connects all of these like that and it, this is a mountain and the water this one is a valley okay let me see oh, I do need this valley here okay awesome uh, now we can see now from this point we have like a mountain going down right here it turned valley so we can from this one so mountain here here and this is valley and we also have one in the middle so this is mountain and then it's so we do need to make like these small triangles here uh, small squares here um, I'm not gonna practice them I think you should I'm not I'm just not gonna waste time on that because they're very simple to collapse so I'm just gonna like highball it uh, so we have something like this like that and then something like this. like this. But they are pretty simple, okay? Uh, I'm pretty sure you can figure it out. I will, again, I will show you later how uh, they are with the grid line so you can see all of the reference points. Oops, that was not good. Okay, like that. And mountain here and mountain here. Then mountain. Valley, mountain, mountain. And mountain here, mountain, and then valley, valley. And then one more, valley here. <coughs> Sorry. And we have this, oops, that was bad, like that. And valley here, and valley here, mountain, mountain, and then mountain 
here this is valley and this is a valley <laughs> by the way you do you obviously do not need to um, draw all of these lines right I'm just trying it because it will be easier to collapse to yeah to show you how to collapse also you have like this as you can see here on the crease pattern you have these ones which are also half the division uh, again I'm just gonna like kind of eyeball it but I do recommend you folding them okay um, okay so I need to draw this line and this line Okay, I think I have all the lines. So yeah, here is how it looks like, this part. Okay. Um, now what I'm gonna do is do the rest on the other side and then we sit and we're ready to collapse. Okay, so I'll just do that a bit faster. Okay, so we are set. This is the crease pattern. Um, we can just start right away collapsing, okay? Uh, by the way, um, let me just... I actually cannot remember which side. Let me just check. Yeah, I think like this is the underside, okay? So this color that you have here is the one that's gonna be on the... On the um, like on the carapace, right? Uh, so I'll just confirm that, but I'm pretty sure that's uh, like I write a message down below, but I'm pretty sure that's what happens. Okay, uh, so let's start collapsing. Um, I guess we can start here on the corner. I don't have a specific sequence to follow. So let's just start here on the corner. So this part is fairly simple. You just make a mountain here and then like this square is a mountain and you're just going to fold this part like so. Okay, and you can just crease a little bit like that, okay? You can close this part like so. Okay, now um, you can keep going here. So here is the same thing, right? So you just make this mountain here. And as you're seeing, you're, like, you're gonna notice this mountain here and then this one is a valley, so which means that this line needs to go on top of that one. So basically you're just going to push this point inside, like that, and you're just going to close it again. And that will create this mountain here, which and this valley on the next one, so you can just do that. So And at the same time I'm closing this part like so. Like once you have things... Uh, um, once you have things colored, it's a lot easier, but I hope you can still follow like so, okay? And you can also just reverse fold this part here. Okay, you can kind of flatten this part here. Like so. Right? Um, and let's do this thing that we just did on this side as well. So let's do this thing first. Oops. Okay. Okay, like that. This can be, this part can be folded like so. 
Okay. Awesome. Uh, let's just keep going on this side, I guess. So now we're just going to do the same thing. Um, so let's do this one. So first you make this like that. You make this mountain here and this mountain here. And you'll see that it arrives here at this point where it splits. So what you're going to do is make a valley here in the middle. I know that this here is a mountain but we'll have to fix that later. I still don't know how it's going to go, but we'll check it later. And also this mountain here. And that will lead us to this mountain, which will lead us here, like so. So we can kind of close this part off like, say, like this. Yeah, this middle part is the trickiest, uh, but we'll get there, we'll get there, okay? Um, I guess I'm thinking like what should, okay, let's just do something first. So instead of folding this part here, what you're going to do is like you notice in the crease pattern that you have, so we have like this mountain here, right? And we have then a valley and then we have mountain valley and like the perpendicular lines are kind of alternating, right? We have mountain, then valley, mountain, valley, mountain. This means that um, this is going, like the, the orientation or the order in which lines are going is these ones horizontal first, and then these ones are going to be folded on top. Because this way you can see that the one that's underneath here is a valley. If you fold it the other way around, you would notice that, okay, this is wrong and this one would also be wrong. So we can actually fold these ones first. So this mountain goes all the way here. We can just fold like that. Okay, this one and then the this one as well. Like basically these are all just, you're just joining, joining these lines here. Okay, so this one just fold like so. And also this one, oops, the next one. So there are three in total this okay I know it doesn't look good so far but we'll fix that okay do not worry and what what you can actually notice now is here if you look like if you like all of, the same thing is happening with the diagonals right let me show you here on the crisp pattern it's easier like these diagonals here are alternating I don't know if you can see here, but this is mountain, then valley, mountain, valley, mountain, valley. That means that they are folded through layers. And this is what's happening here. You can see like this diagonals here, right? This one is a mountain and then the next one is a valley, which means that you're just folding them like so, right? And you can actually just do that. You can just fold them like this and just press down. And then we also see that uh, the same thing happens here, so these parts are like this. You just fold this like so, right? That's that's correct, yes. Um, I know it's not going to collapse right now, but at least we're getting something. And what else, what else can we do? So we can do this, we can try to do this mountain, although I don't think that will be of much use, but we'll see. So if we do this mountain, we do get something like this, right? And this mountain here is going to convert into a valley. And it's going to go like this. So you can see like we have this mountain here and then this valley. This means that all of these papers, like this part is going to be on top of that part. So we need somehow to do this, right? Um, and let me just see what's the best way that we can do that. Okay, let me just see. So this is like that. This needs to be opened. This is like so. Okay. Now this part here also needs to be pushed out. Yes, that's looking good. This part here as well. OK, 
Okay, here in this part, I'm just gonna crease. I'm not gonna worry about all of those weird lines now. Just gonna crease this part like so. And let me just check. So this one like that already. Yes, okay, this one is a mountain, so this one needs to be like that. This is, like I should have warned you, but <laughs> this is a very tricky collapse. Like, I, I'm i pretty sure that there are better ways to do this. Um, but I remember when I was collapsing this, I was also like feeling the same thing. Like, okay, this is kind of confusing, but hopefully you can uh, understand what I'm doing. And if not, you can just pause and then uh, try again. Okay, this is, should be joined. Now this one, yeah, let me see, this one needs to be pushed out. So these ones, you kind of need to, to join these three points together. Like These are the ones that make the spines like this. Like you need to join these ones like so. Okay, it's getting somewhere. This is a mountain, this is like that. Valley here. Awesome. Okay, now one thing we haven't fixed, you can see here, this should be a valley. This should be a mountain here inside. And that is probably because I do need to fold I, like this layer because this one is also a mountain, right? So this should be like that. This should be like that. And then this, all of them should fold like this. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see now if I can just close this part. So this should be a mountain. Valley here. Let me see. So mountain here. Valley here. Okay, there we go. That's looking better. There are still some things that we do need to fix in here, but I think they are, we are going, I'll, I'll, don't worry, I'll let the show it when it's all almost collapsed, so you can see how it looks on the end and you can just compare with yours. But yeah, this is how it should look like. I still have to make the other side, that's why it's not collapsing, but there we go, so all of the corners here are just, all of the spikes here are three of them here, right? And I think all of the orientations are matching, so that's good. That means we are on the right track. Okay, like this. Uh, let me do the same thing on the other side. I, will, I won't do it fast, so you can actually see what I'm doing again. So I think uh, what I'm gonna do to start off is make like here, start on the bottom, just trying, starting to pleat. I think that helped. Okay, this part I can just uh, fold like so. This and then this one as well. Okay, and then let's do this pleat. Okay, like us, so this one, these three are all together on this part, and you just pinch all of them here, and then these ones are all folded like so. That, okay, and we have the spikes here, so we can make those. Just do this one. Like that. Okay. Okay. 
okay now we can see one two three okay we can just join them like so like this okay and now you can see like this part here should be all valid which means I have to fold like that. I have to fold all of this like that I have to fold this like that and Sorry, and then I have like the valley here. So basically, okay, let me just close this. And then I can just, I can just do, fold all of those three inside like that. And then I can close this part. And I need to press down here. And then here, just close this. And this is mountain here mountain then valley here i think we should be able to close this now so goes like that yeah awesome okay that was hard but it's done right okay awesome this is how it, it's not all done yet, <laughs> but the hardest part, I think it's done. Okay, so let's, um, let me just press down everything. Okay, so we can see now, like this part here, we have, we're still gonna have to do the guilds yet but we'll do them a bit later, or in a second, I mean. This is the part, the carapace, this is a tail. And yeah, so let's start here on one of these sides here, which we haven't collapsed yet. So the first thing is we can start here. So we need to fold this down like that. And we need to see, like we need to fold also this is like that. So there's a mountain. Like this folds like this. Okay. And then this part, you need to fold this inside. Okay, like that. And do I fold this this way? Yes, I do. Okay. Just like that. And do the same thing on this side. Okay, and fold down. Let me just zoom a little bit. Like this. Okay, so now we can see that we have like one, uh, wait, this is down. One leg, two, three, four, Five. No, we have five. A lot of legs. <laughs> um, I think I think they are five in real life, in the real horseshoe crab, right? I think I did that um, accordingly. It wasn't by accident. Um, okay, now let's do the gills. Okay, so what you're gonna notice is, and once again, let me just open the crisp pattern. You're gonna notice that we have like this split here, right? And you're going to notice that the horizontal ones are alternating. And that means that the horizontal are going to be creased through, okay? So basically we have this mountain here. And what you're going to do, you're just going to fold this like that, basically. Okay, you're just going to fold all of the layers like so. And just going to crease on this and press down hard because it may be a lot of... Oops, I did something wrong here. There we go. Like that, and just fold this down. Okay, like so. And then we can really start working on the gills. So let me just get this out of the way. Now we're just gonna pick a side and we're going to open this part a little bit. This part right here, okay? So 
um, I guess we can just do this uh, re very easily. So the first thing we're gonna do is we can see like these lines here, right? These vertical ones, and you can see that they are like this, right? They are like so. But actually, let me just make sure, no, wait. This is a mountain, so yeah, like this. Okay, and then you just close and this part, this mountain is gonna go like this. If you're familiar with scales, like this is the, the same principle, right? Except we're doing this um, on the fly, I guess. I, I forgot to, to draw this line here, actually. Just a small sec, this one right here. And so we are doing this one first, right? And then we're doing this one. Right, we're just gonna fold um, this one here. And let me see, so this part is a mountain, like that. And this part is a valley, like this should be like that. This should be like that. They are going to fold on the same position, but that's just temporary, because now, so let's see. So this is a valley. Oh, this is a mountain, which means I need to press this like that. I need to do this like so. Okay, now this one goes like this. And this one goes that way. Okay. Should be something like this. Yeah, we still need to fix that. But yeah, this is how it looks now. And we can just fold this like that, I guess, here. Now what you're going to do is you're going to just close all of this, right? And we can see that we're starting to see some gills, but they are not in the correct orientation because we need to put them. And like the first thing is we're going to, like this one right here, we're just going to fold this like that. And we're going to fold also this part here like so and actually I think I'm folding way too much I just need to fold this one not all of them with the second I think I got them trapped yes yeah, so let me just I think this is like that yeah this valley is like that but this part stays like this okay um, so yeah so we're going to do this oh god come on There we go, come on and close. That's annoying. Okay, there we go. So we need to close, like make this mountain and we also need to fold this to that direction. Okay, ignore these two parts for now okay ignore these two so I'm just gonna fold like that and I'm just gonna fold like that as well okay and we can close this yes and close that okay oops what happened here I don't know okay there we go so this is how it looks on the inside this part is a bit bad this is how it looks, okay? Uh, now the problem with this is that you can see that they are trapped, right? You can't fold them up and you can't fold this one up either. And uh, that's why there are like these triangles here. 
these ones right here, okay? So if you're going to open them, let's do this one first, and what you're going to do is make this shape, so make like this, okay? And you're actually gonna keep this mountain like that, and now, as you can see, if you close, you can see that you can fully lift this part, right? And you cannot do this one. And, but that's because we haven't done the, the same triangle here as well. Okay, so. Just like that. Like this. This is how it looks on the inside. Okay, we're only one left, which is this one right here. Yes, and all we need to do is just fold, um, let me just check what actually do we need to do. So this is like that, yes, correct. This is down. Oh, okay, so we just need to fold this down. So basically, this is down, and we just need to fold this part in first, like that, and then fold this down. And there we go, we have the three gills here. Okay, there we go. That's looking better. And I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm just gonna do it faster because I think it's. Uh, I think it was uh, clear. I guess if it not, if it wasn't, you can just go back. And as you can see, like this part kind of stays uh, together now. Okay, so that looks better. Uh, I'll just do this one, this side a bit faster.
Okay, guys. There we go. The crease pattern is complete. Awesome. So you should have something like this now. Here on the back or on the front. No, on the back. <laughs> but this is also the back. <laughs> um, yeah, this is how it looks. The one thing I do not like about this design is that I think that um, like the tail here, it should be a lot... Um, it should be a lot thinner, at, it, at least I can't really, I don't have a picture in mind of the real horseshoe crab, but I think it should be a bit thinner, but yeah. Anyway, uh, let's just move on to shaping. Um, I'm not gonna go too much in depth on the shaping, I'm just gonna like uh, sh give you some small tips, maybe show you how, to shape, how I shaped some parts, but I don't really remember how I shaped most of them as well, but yeah, I'll just give you some tips. <laughs> Okay, so starting with the gills, which is the easiest, like all I did was just give them like a brown shape. Uh, not really round, what I did was give them, so let me just draw it. So you had, so we have like this, and we have one gill here, we have another one, and we have another one, right? What I did was just fold the corners in and made something like this. Okay, instead of, uh, so this is not like that. So what I ended up with was something like this. Instead of having like full, like that. Uh, but that's just your preference, I guess. Uh, you can see pictures of, of my model to see. And what I did is just fold down the corners inside. Um, this paper is a bit small, but yeah, fold down the corners and just give them a bit rounder shape. Now for the legs, um, okay, so this part, what I did was, first of all, I fold this to, I'm just gonna show you on this one. I folded this one down, and what I did was, let me see if I can remember, actually, I think I just folded, I didn't fold down. Yeah, I think I folded this one like that, or maybe it was up, who knows. Yeah, I think it was, doesn't really matter, but I think it was like that. I fold this to the side, and then I just, folded it in half and this is basically one leg uh, I I think I folded it again in half but I don't think this paper would allow me to do that but yeah so this is one leg then I did the same thing for the other one so I fold this like that and fold this in half like so so we, they are in the same position but you can kind of shift them or if you if you hold them like that um, if you just spread, if you hold them like not flat a bit like this, you can see, um, it gets a better positioning. And then I did basically the same thing with all of these, like, okay, so this may, this one maybe I fold it down like so. Like this. And then this one I fold it up. Like this. And then... And this, uh, yeah, one more, right? Yeah, one more. And then this one, I just did the same thing. So, like this, and then fold down. I know it looks pretty stupid right now, but if you, I think I fold it, like if you fold it again in half, it will look a lot better because right now they are kind of uh, on top of each other, but I promise you that if you fold uh, in half again, or if you glue this part, it's going to be a look. Uh, it's going to look a lot better. And also, you can kind of tilt them, right? You can kind of push like this top one a bit up, and you can kind of push also this second from the top also a bit up, and then they are like more spread and not completely straight, right? And that's what I did on mine. And also, then we have like these two tips here, like this one and also this one here, right? which you can convert on a tip very easily. These ones I used, like, I honestly had no idea they had this, I don't know, I think, I think they are teeth or something. I don't know what they are used for. Um, but they do have, like, two on each side. I think they use, like, to, to grab stuff for their mouth. But um, you can actually use them. Uh, what I did was, like, kind of a rabbit here on this one. like that, and then I can just fold it, uh, curve it a little bit, 
inside obviously it's not that good right now but something like this and then you also have to make the same thing with this one i think what i did was uh, also reverse fold this part and maybe uh, let me see what i did i actually can't really remember did i fold all of this i don't remember what i did but i know uh, that i did something uh, but maybe I'll get there once I fold here, like on this side here. You obviously don't want a square, right? It's like more of a... I'm just gonna draw it here. But the shape of its carapace, it's more like... Um, let me see if I can draw it. More like this, yes? It's something like that. And obviously what I did was just fold this part inside to match the outline. So if I just do that, just randomly, like that. You can see it gets a much realistic shape, right? Something like that. Uh, I don't really think it's like, I don't think these corners are way that sharp, I think it's a bit more round here. I honestly don't know for sure. I would recommend you look at some real photos of it or maybe you can just copy mine, but yeah. And then here you have the space now to just do that thing that I was talking about. Like you could just do, okay, this one is already, already there, but this one you can kind of make, I don't know, something like this and then you can just pull this part out, whatever. You can, you can kind of, um, Invent here, right? It's not gonna be visible. So it doesn't really matter if that's clean on this part But you can see that we have like these two tips here um, What the other thing that's missing are the spikes on the side which are somewhere hidden here, right? Yeah, here they are now. This is a bit tricky because uh, I probably should have mentioned that before but like you can't really narrow this down you can almost not reach them you can't really narrow this down once the cp is collapsed um you can kind of do it but it's very hard i don't recommend it and uh, i'll just leave a link i'll just leave a message uh, before uh, because if you want to get this narrower or thinner uh, you need to do that before you collapse because this one this here it's a bit hard but yeah, what you can do is just basically pull them out a little bit. Like, like what? Okay, pull them out. Uh, I mean, this is getting kind of white. What the hell is happening here? Wait, how is this? Okay, there we go. Let me just get back to the original one. And I can just grab here and just pull them a little bit like that. And just you can just smoosh this part a little bit and then obviously you can just separate a lot right we have three here so we can just separate these maybe use a tweezers or something like that to separate them so there's two and there's another one here okay there are the three ones, the three spikes. So obviously they look better when they are thinner, but if you can't do that, you can always just th thin them down like so, okay? So let me just try to spread this part a little bit. So you can always thin them, thin them down like that, like this. Obviously it doesn't look that bad, not, uh, that good right now. <laughs> But I do remember this part was a bit trickier. So the other thing you can actually do is like pull them from further, right? You can see that this line here is horizontal. It should be like more tilted, but you can actually do that. You can actually just open here and just pull more paper from here and just smoosh this part. And now you can see it's more tilted, right? You can just press down here. Doesn't really doesn't really matter if it's not uh, very well lined. As long as it doesn't look bad uh, on the outside, you can see. It. And you don't read the paper, obviously. But yeah, I know that this was not a very in-depth detail on the shaping, but that was not the goal. I think 
Um, shaping should be done at your own taste. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope <coughs> you guys managed to do yours. Uh, if you did, please let me know, like uh, uh, write in the comments or maybe send me a photo of it. I would be glad to know. And yeah, guys, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.